once you get the surgery. You thought you was insecure about not having boobs. Now that you got the boobs and everybody know that you went and bought them, or now they gonna have something to talk about. Now that you ain't, you thought it was bad when you ain't had no booty. Now that you went and bought the booty, oh God, they finna go crazy. They gonna go crazy. These people finna lose their to my channel for another video if you guys are new to my channel my name is Sadie's make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss an upload because I got some fire content coming for y'all so <clears throat> I actually just finished recording like a bunch of videos so if you want to see this makeup look that I'm about to take off make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss when I upload this chit chat get ready with me that I just recorded but I just wanted to come and talk to y'all because like I had just finished recording and I was like eating because <clears throat> when I record like when I do my hauls and stuff I kind of don't eat just so I can look like you know a little bit slimmer want to be pudgy while I'm recording hauls and stuff so I was so when I'm eating, and I'll be sitting down watching YouTube and stuff. And I was watching YouTube, and <clears throat> I was watching. Um, see, she's a younger girl, Alexis McKay. She got her boobs done or whatever. They look really good and stuff. And um, she actually came to Miami to get them done. She didn't go to my my surgery place though, but she came to Miami. So um, <clears throat> she was. She actually gave me some ideas on, I was going to do an updated two-year BBL thing and just like let y'all know. And she said a few things in her video that made me be like, oh, I'm going to talk about that because people don't talk about that. But, um, <clears throat> sorry y'all. But in the comment, when I went to leave a comment, I seen like in the comment section, like a lot of people were like, Asha her saying like oh you look good before you was just fine how God made you this that and the other right like people need to understand like one, one thing about it this is first things first if people get in surgery one they could very well be getting it for other people to please other people whatever the case may be nevertheless a lot of times in most cases People get surgery cosmetic surgery whether it shows teeth when you get veneers that's a cosmetic surgery it's like you gotta pay cash or you can pay care credit sometimes too. It's a cosmetic surgery, right? Get your nose done, you get stuff done to your face, your boobs, your stomach. It's all cosmetic surgery. At the end of the day, this is what people have to understand. You only have one life to live. Listen, I refuse to be that person sitting here saying, oh, this person, oh, oh my gosh, she look like this. Or they got that, or they got this, they got that. No. Listen, if you want something at the end of the day, and especially and especially in the black community, let me make let me say that. In the black community, surgery is like looked down upon like, oh, and then let me say something. Especially like my black queens. Listen, y'all better do y'all because in a black community, it's a lot of like it can be very like negative. People gonna talk about you regardless, right? Because then you have people who like you got the girls who are who can't afford surgery. Don't get me wrong, you could wear waist trainers and girdles and stuff once you get your surgery. But like some girls can't afford surgery, so you know they wear their girdles, they wear their waist trainers and stuff. Guys dash them out there, they get on social media making jokes. Oh, I hope the girl and they felt like she had on a bulletproof vest or something like that. They dash you that. Okay, sis came up for her surgery, so she doing the best she can. The one her working out, drinking her tea, and trying to lose her weight. <clears throat> they still gonna bash her about that. So it's like at the end of the day, you need to do what's best for you. But specifically in the black community, y'all like to bash people a lot like about surgeries and stuff when in other races i'm not going to say white people or this and that no other races other cultures it's okay like if you want to change something about your body and at the end of the day it's specifically like with boobs okay but you don't necessarily have to have no butt but sometimes people don't feel confident but like breast specifically like I always, like me personally, when I do my breasts, it's not to make them big, it's to lift them and make them smaller, period. But, like some girls, like when you grow up as a as a young girl, you know, you fill it out and stuff, everybody got main training bras, you know, let's say you start out of school with some friends, middle school, y'all got a training bras, then by the time y'all graduate high school, everybody done filled out 
some girls literally never feel out. So like, you get what I'm saying? That could be an insecurity for them. Like when it comes to certain clothes, don't a shirt, a certain shirt won't fit properly how it look on me on a girl who doesn't have, you know, bigger boobs. Or even like when they being intimate with a significant other, that may be something that make them feel like a, like a child or something. They be like, oh, I don't got this and that. Like literally, Working in the beauty industry and, and owning a salon, you know, me and my mom and dealing with different women of all walks of life and all shapes and sizes. Literally, like, it's some women out here who say, you know, that it make them feel so insecure. They feel like a little girl. And, like, these grown women out here. And let me tell you, it's not that they, and then that the thing is they say, this is how they, I'm sorry, y'all, this lash is going to tear me up. Ugh. There we go. And these women, like they, they, you know, feel insecure about, you know, whatever it is they get that they got going on, right? And the crazy part about it is they won't even go they can afford the surgery. They can afford to change what they don't like, what they're insecure about. But they're not doing it because of people. It's your body. You got one life to live, and they're not doing what they want to do because of people, because of a husband, a boyfriend, a friend, mama, daddy, co-workers. Who what you getting that for? This and that. Like I heard somebody say, oh, something they was saying something. Y'all girls getting BBLs just to work regular jobs. And I'm just like, that don't even make sense. Like every girl who got a BBL. That don't mean that they want to be uh that they don't mean that they don't want to work normal career jobs. That has nothing to do with it. Like I think the I think so I think social media and like obviously Instagram models, which you know that's still like a little career path to them. The whole Instagram model thing, they get paid. You get what I'm saying? But I think that that has changed the dynamic of surgery because people literally feel like people like women are getting surgery to be an Instagram model or for Instagram or for social media when people really are here having insecurities and yeah obviously people on social media will see that you got your breast done you got your butt done you got your stomach done due to the fact that you post pictures all the time anyways but I just feel like, you know, people need to take it a little bit lighter on people and stop uh, taking a little bit lighter on women and stop thinking like everybody getting surgery to be attention seeking. Oh, you want somebody to look at your butt. You want somebody to look at your boobs. Me personally, when I got my surgery, when I got my BBL, it was all about getting my stomach flat. It was never really about getting my butt done. It was like, at the, at the, actually, I was really only getting like, oh, and then I was like, you know what? Shoot, I should have just got some butt. I should just add a little butt. I was just like, fuck it, you know what? I'm grown. Like, when I got surgery, I think I was 20, 23, 23. I was 23. So I was like, you know what? Oh, no, you know what? I was going on. How old was I? I'm 26. I was 23 going on 24. I think. Oh, my God. I think I was 23 going on 24. I don't even remember. I did my surgery two years ago. for a minute, y'all. There with me, but when I did my surgery, I was like, you know what? My daughter was like, you know, you think you might want to put like some volume there and this and that. And I was just like, you know what? Like, why not? Like, why not? Why not do it? So, you know, I didn't really like it, but it wasn't nothing how I was like, well, I'm, I'm on a big booty. I'm on a like, it was not like that. I was just like, okay, you know what? It's my fat. I might as well put a little something right there. And, and the thing is, it just filled out more. Obviously, one, I've gained weight between when I got my surgery two years ago. And now, and then aside from that, like if you see the older women in my family, like my grandma, my auntie, my grandma, everybody got hips. My mama got hips, like everybody got hips. So it's like once I got my surgery and stuff, and then especially then when I gained, it's like it just all filled out. So it wasn't like, it just like people be like, you got your hips done? And I'm like, my hips? Girl, you go ask my grandma, did she get her hips done? Maybe you would think twice about that. But, you know, like, I just feel like, like, people need to stop judging people and stop thinking, like, everybody want to get surgery because they want to do this for social media or do that for social media. Like, it's really women out here with real insecurities and who really don't feel 100% confident in themselves. And not saying that surgery is the answer, but if that's going to make that person, that's going to make them feel better about themselves, then... By all means, like, go ahead and do it. You get what I'm saying? It's some people, and sometimes people don't get surgery. And sometimes people, like, literally, like, co cosmetic surgery is when you have that extra 
fat on your arm. Like some people lose a lot of weight and then they have the extra skin. So they have to go and get a tummy tuck to tuck the skin unless they gonna just walk around with the stomach all the time. Or they got all this extra access so they get all that cut. So it's like different scenarios. So I just think like people need to stop like general, like I'm not, I'm not generalizing. They need to stop like just like judging people and being judgmental, you know, when it comes down to like surgery and like, and then at the end of the day, really, y'all gotta ask yourself when y'all come on people page commenting, talking about people like judging so much, y'all gotta think about it like, is this paying my bills? How is this gonna make my life better? <laughs> me talking about this person or me judging this person or me saying it like, y'all really gotta stop and like, I just wanna encourage like the girls out there who are who are not happy with their bodies if you insecure or some stuff about your body that you don't like. Let me tell you something. One, I don't every woman on this earth, every woman on this earth is something of the most beautiful women, the women you think the finest, the Instagram models, the celebrities, whoever, the, whoever. Every woman got something about their body who something about their body that they don't like a hundred percent just love but at the end of the day like you gotta love yourself regardless like seriously you gotta love yourself flaws and all like literally you gotta love yourself even when i got my braces people was like why you got braces i ain't seen nothing wrong with your teeth but i knew that there was like certain little insecurities that i was like okay you know what i need to fix but i just want to encourage y'all to like love yourself like regardless whether you got surgery whether you don't whether you if you gotta work out and then don't be kid also so don't be trying to kill yourself to keep up with the Jones either. If you can't afford surgery, you know surgery gonna put you in the hole. Let's say you do got the, the five, six, seven thousand, but you know like you could really take that money and do something else. Like pay bills and build your credit and you know like you not really in a you not really in a position to splurge with that money. Like you got it, but you ain't in a position to splurge with it. Don't do that, girl. Work out, take care of yourself, and just like just love yourself regardless. If you do do surgery, do make sure you're doing it for you and not nobody else. And if you want to do it, like sometimes you you can't even consult certain people. Like if it's not your family, your friend, your close I'm, I'm sorry, your close family, like your mom, your siblings, you know, maybe that older big sister you can talk to, your older brother, something like that that you could vent to about it. Talk to them, but don't tell, don't, before you do a surgery, you need to be stress free. Don't be like, oh, I'm getting surgery, I'm getting surgery, because you'll have all the naysayers here. Why are you doing it? Don't do this, don't do that. Don't listen to them. But like, most of all, love yourself, like, regardless. That's the whole thing, like, love yourself, because even once you get the surgery, you thought you was insecure about not having boobs. Now that you got the boobs and everybody know that you went and bought them, uh, now they gonna have something to talk about. Now that you ain't, you thought it was bad when you ain't had no booty. Now that you went and bought the booty, oh God, they finna go crazy. They gonna go crazy. These people finna lose their now they finna go make fake pages. And finna go find you. So, you know, just like love yourself, like regardless. Like, we're gonna be doing a lot of more girl talks. Like, I'm trying to, I gotta see more things that's coming from my beauty room. I'm getting it together. And I am gonna give y'all a tour of my built, my vanity that I built myself. I got the light turned off now. But yeah, like all of my little stuff. But I'm waiting for a few more things to come and I'm gonna give y'all a tour. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just wanted to chit chat with y'all. I'm about to take my makeup off and go to sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all want more girl talks, like any little girl stuff that y'all want to talk about, let me know because I'm gonna be doing like more videos like that. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.